Okay, so my name is Ali Jagutz. I work at EPS. I'm an assistant professor in geology here. And my interest in principle is igneous petrology, which means I study magmas that are derived from the upper mantle and I try to understand how they evolve. And specifically, I'm interested in why the Earth from all the rocky planets has this bimodal distribution of crust with a low standing oceanic crust and a high standing continental crust. And the origin of that is actually poorly understood. I came interested in studying geology is a longer story because my father was already involved in studying cosmochemistry and so I have, a, you know, I have accompanied him in his field trips and so on and so along. So I have a long history going back related to geology and then initially I was interested in chemistry and I studied chemistry and then ultimately I swapped to geology. So I was born and grew up in Germany and uh, where I did my undergraduate studies at the University of Mainz. I did then my PhD at the ETH in Zurich and uh, a postdoc at the University in Bern, both in Switzerland. And then subsequently I was appointed as assistant professor here at MIT. So the main research questions I try to answer is I try to understand why the Earth crust is characterized by this bimodal distribution, which is best illustrated by, you know, the different uh, hypsometry, which is the elevation of the two crusts, which ultimately reflects different composition. And so it's not quite clear why we have an oceanic crust where the oceans are and a continental crust where we live and uh, how these are different crusts originate and how they form and deform is what I'm interested in. I do a lot of field work, so I do a lot of field-based studies. I work, for example, in northeastern Himalayas, in India, and I worked a lot in Pakistan. Obviously, I'm not working in Pakistan anymore now. Um, I work in Mongolia, in Morocco, and also in the western US. So I go out in the field and I try to make crucial observations or sample crucial samples that allow us to test or you know, postulate new ideas or test existing ideas on their validity based on field observations. So the, the methods I use to, attack, you know, to answer the question I'm interested in is, as I said, I use a lot of field observations. So we go out in the field, we produce maps, we take samples. These samples we bring back in the field and then, uh, sorry, we bring back in the lab. And then in the lab, we analyze these samples. We might determine their age by using uranogenic isotopes. We analyze their chemical composition as well of the whole sample as single minerals by different method. But we also then use more uh, quantitative methods like numerical models to try to, you know, test our ideas for physical plausibilities. And so we use a combination of field observation, analytical chemistry, and numerical methods to ultimately say something about how we think the Earth evolves.